uh, Dion going to Colorado. And if I'm Colorado, by the way, here's here's Dion. This is how Dion greeted his new team yesterday. We got a few positions already taken care of because I'm bringing my luggage with me. And it's Louie. <laughs> it ain't going to be no more of the mess that these wonderful fans, the student body, and some of your parents have put up with for probably two decades now. I'm coming. And when I get here, it's going to be changed. So I want y'all to get ready to go ahead and jump in that portal and do whatever you're going to get. Because the more you jump in, the more room you make. Because we bring kids that are smart. Say that smart. Smart. Tough. Tough. Now let's get them. <laughs> smart, tough, but not you guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> jump in the portal. Jump in the portal. Everybody in the deep end. Come on. I'm bringing my own luggage. Yeah, I, I'm bringing <laughs> Louis. I'm bringing my Louis Vuitton. Oh. oh, my God. He he actually said to those dudes, I'm bringing in a bunch of kids here who are smart and tough. Because it's not you yeah, guys. I'm bringing in luggage. There's going to be change. Yeah, they're smart. Smart. Tough. Tough. But not you guys. Yeah. Not us. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> yeah. God. God. Yes, Marv. And you guys aren't what? Smart. <laughs> and what else? <laughs> Tough. Tough. Uh, now you're gone. Gone. Yeah, gone. He basically made them apologize for disappointing the fan yes. base all these yeah. years. For like the last 20 years, I'm holding you guys responsible, all right? Your parents deserve better. Your fans deserve better. But I'd like to thank you. You made it possible for me to get the Colorado job <laughs> yeah. with very little coaching experience. Oh, yeah, thank oh thank you God. for being crappy. It allowed me to leave Jackson State, and I make $5 million a year. Thank you. That is just punishing. Yeah. Thanks for not being tough. Thanks for not being smart. I just wondered, was there anything else? Was there anything else out there for Dion? If you're going to take another job, and I don't think there was. Now, do I think there would have been other opportunities? Absolutely. And when you talk about recruiting, getting in to see mom, and, you know, he's still relevant. How long has it been since Dion Sanders has played a football game? But you see those highlights and you're like, that dude was different. And, you know, when these DBs score a touchdown, they're high-stepping. They're, they're acting like Deion Sanders out there. And number 21 is still an important number with these football players. Yes, Marv. Yeah, these kids might not remember Deion as a player, but the parents sure do. Yeah, and that's, that's a, a great big point. thing. Deion retired in 2005. But I think the amazing part is Dion does not seem old. And what he did at Jackson State, now going to Colorado, uh, that's a big move there. Big move. Paulie has a Deion Sanders theory. So I, I was pretty surprised they took Colorado. It makes more sense after the fact. I was watching the SWAC championship, and I was like, man, I, I don't, and the reports came in, Bruce Feldman and others, that he's going. It's just a formality. You know, I think it's his son. Shador saying, you know, the things you do for your kids. Now, it's about his career as well, but his son, I think, has two more years of eligibility. So there is a timeline. He can't just, you know, you know, if he waits another year, that's another year for his son. His son has NIL deals, and he wants to probably get him on a bigger stage to play in the Big 12. And I think his son's eligibility had a big, a lot to do with it. I think it was a package deal. They obviously were going to go together, but mm. I, I think a half of it is based off his son's eligibility. If his son had three more years, maybe, I don't know. But um, you bring your son now to the Big 12, big TV games, more exposure for his career. And it's like a double. You help your son's career, and you're clearly helping your own coaching career. Well, I believe it starts with Dion helping Dion. And if it means you bring in your son and some of those other recruits, great. But if Dion didn't have other opportunities and looked at this and said, all right, I can build this. I can, I can be here for three or four years. I can build something from the ground up. And believe me, it's going to be from the ground up. And by that time... We're going to have 16 or 12 team playoff. We can get in. We can get into the playoff. And like, he's going to think that way with uh, the Pac 12. So, but to bring his son as his quarterback, but Dion coming in there and saying, I'm, I'm bringing luggage, luggage. I'm bringing Louis, Louis, Louis Vuitton. <laughs> and these poor kids are probably like, hey, mom and dad, meeting with Dion Sanders, and, and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. And then all of a sudden, you hear from your son after being in there. Uh, hey, how did it go with Dion? Uh, basically told us to get in the transfer portal. <laughs> basically told me to yeah. leave. Yeah. He basically said, I'm not smart or tough. 
Uh, and it's time to leave. And he's bringing in uh, his own <laughs> luggage there. Holy moly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Marv. I feel bad for those kids that just finished their red shirt year. Like, wait, I don't have any leeway to transfer anywhere. I didn't play this year. <laughs> They're like, oh, what aren't you? Smart. What else? Tough. Tough. Okay.